I'm going to create a website calculator, one where you can answer a couple of questions and get the price that you should be charging for building that kind of a website. Let's have a look at how I'm going to do this. So the reason I'm doing this is because for the longest period of time when I was a developer, I had no idea how much to charge for a website. I think this is one of the skills that we often don't learn till much later. And for me, as a junior developer, having a few freelancing jobs and doing some basic work, I was undervaluing myself heavily. And this is because I didn't know the value of a website at that point in time. It's sort of like measuring a piece of string. It felt like it could have any length. And what ended up happening was me thinking that I was being competitive by trying to charge the minimum that I could. And the minimum and the maximum weren't even values that I recognized. So it took me years and years before I started charging a little bit more money. And even then, it was only after I started talking to other people that I realized that I was still vastly undercharging the price compared to the competitive market, especially in business. Now, all this were things that I had to learn the hard way. And I think that if there was something like a pricing calculator that let me answer a couple of questions, tell me how that calculation was made and gave me a value of what I should be pricing websites for, it would have made my life a lot simpler and I could have earned a lot more money by this stage. So this is why I want to build this thing. In order for me to create a good website calculator, I'm going to need to do a number of things. The first will be to identify what kind of pricing people are currently charging all over the world for different types of projects. I think this might be one of the hardest things to do. And if you guys have any advice or tips, add them in the comments below, even if you want to share your own pricing. The second thing I need to do is take into account all the variables that go into creating the structure for a price, such as how many hours a project takes or how many weeks, how many people are working on it, what is the value that it's providing and lots more. And then finally, seeing if I can put these into a question and answer format so that we can arrive at a final answer for the price. Once I do this, I'm going to create this into a website. I probably will build this on Editor X and I'm going to essentially create some scripts that will allow us to do this and for anyone to be able to use it. If you guys want to be part of this process, let me know in the comments below because I'll be building it over a number of weeks and you can join the Discord below where you'll be able to see early previews of it. But without further ado, let's just get started. So I've done some research and Googling into website pricing and I've come up with a few things. The first is how much does a website cost in 2022? I think this is a really good question. After visiting many websites, most of them are saying that they are spending around $10,000 for a site. But this doesn't calculate everything. It doesn't calculate, for example, the monthly cost to host and maintain a website. That can include things such as the website domain, the hosting, SSL, as well as additional functionality. And this can end up being anywhere between $50 a month all the way up to $6,000 a month if you're hiring someone to continuously work on that functionality. Now, since I do a lot of content inside of Editor X, their pricing starts at $26, which is much less than usual and includes everything. But anyway, we'll continue on having a look at pricing to design and develop a website. This is where it gets a bit more complex. In terms of doing both of those things to actually create the site itself, the pricing, as I mentioned, is between, well, ten dollars to $12,000 all the way up to $150,000. And that is quite a lot. I was actually surprised by this figure, but there are other calculators out there which we can look at and compare to see exactly how they come up with these figures. But generally, small businesses pay a lot less money. They're paying between $1,000 to $10,000 for a website. But the other thing to note is that as soon as they become larger, say they're a mid to large organization, they might hire developers or designers. And as you know, designers and developers aren't cheap. Our salary can be between 80 to 100K a year. And straight away, this gives you a figure to play with. If, for example, they don't have someone hired full time and they're looking for some work done, this is the kind of range they can be expected to pay for a brand new site, which gives you a better idea of why larger organizations often pay a lot more for a website. Let's see if we can break this down further. How much are designers essentially charging for just the design of a multi-page website? Well, here we have a website that's five to 10 pages, and most designers are paying between the blue and the red scales, which is between two to $5,000. 
there are another 60% of people essentially charging below $1,000 or above $7,000, and that's interesting, but it's just a stat that we can use further down the track. What about a plain website, one which might be just a single page? Well, in that case, it's a bit less, but it's still higher than doing maybe 10 to 15 pages. The average price here, here between the blue and the red is between $1,000 and $3,500, with most other people charging around that range. So I think this gives us a good idea for at least the design of a website. Now, there are other things to consider, such as front-end development or back-end development or even admin tools and functionality. And as a general rule of thumb, the development often costs more than doing the design. So if there's a design for $700 to $4,000, then the development of that front-end can be between $3,000 to $10,000. This is quite cool, but what ends up happening is that there are quite a few different factors when it comes to front-end development, whether it's using the latest standards, whether it's using React or Angular, or if it's built inside of an ecosystem that is already ready to go with using no coding tools. If you're integrating backend services, if you have custom databases and APIs you're integrating, all of this plays a big part. And this is where you can see that you start implementing things like time as well as cost and scale to this. But there are other factors too, such as how many pages are there on the website? The more pages between one to 250 pages, that can range the price between $1,000 to $10,000 because that would mean that a copywriter would have to sit there and fill out all that content. There are other things as well. Is there going to be multimedia on the website? Is there going to be custom photography and video? Because that means that you would need to hire that photographer or videographer to do that work. And that's an additional $250 to $10,000. And there's going to be other things such as the design of the theme and how much time and in, um, effort is placed into creating custom looking pages or just reusing the same template. I think one of the biggest influences on price is also the scale of the website. So if you're building a simple one pager for a small business, then it could be a very low price around the 3000 mark. If you're building a more complex multi-page site for a larger organization, it can start growing to that 10K figure. But if you're starting to take it to the next level, if you're building an e-commerce website, this is where it starts to grow above that 10,000 mark. And I think this is where we need to start looking at the value of a website. And this is something difficult to determine. So what I'm thinking is to bake in value as part of the pricing calculation. Some people think that calculating the value of a website is difficult, but it's actually one of the easiest to calculate, especially if you have the metrics from the business themselves. For example, if the business is making $10,000 per month and you can increase their sales through a new website to $20,000 a month, that means that you've made them $100 and twenty thousand dollars over a period of a year that is a value already and from that value you can determine how much they should spend on a website for example if they're only making five thousand dollars a month and you only increase their sales to six thousand dollars a month that means they're only getting an additional twelve thousand dollars in the year so it's a smaller value to play in and they should invest less into that website so we've learned how much people are charging for websites in 2022 and how they're breaking that cost down in the next video i want to see if I can pull all these metrics into Excel and see if we can create some formulas that we can start using to design some of the questions for a pricing calculator. If you guys have your own website pricing that you want to share in the comments below, let me know. If you guys want to help me build this pricing calculator, join the Discord and let me know as well. Otherwise, I'm really looking forward to doing this. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.